welcome back to everyone uh, narendra here so in this session let's understand how to download this latest intellij id and with this intellij id today we'll run spring boot applications okay this is really important and it will be useful to you if you we'll use this intellij you will get uh, much more benefits than ists okay so let's do that okay so you will go to any of your browser uh, let me open this google chrome and you just type intellij download for windows and go to the first link okay this uh, jet branch okay you see in this link uh, we are going to download this uh, ex you see this is the ultimate uh, version Ult ultimate means it, this is this is paid one okay you will come down you will get it community editions community means it is not paid one it is free okay you see what are the options we are having g folder exe folder let let to uh, let download this exe file okay just click on download option it will be downloaded okay it started downloading it may it may take uh, two three minutes depends upon your internet speed okay let it be download okay once the download completed you go to your download folder okay you see so this is the community versions then just double okay oh, wait okay it is asking the permission if you are using more than windows 10 so it will ask the permission so just click on next you see it is giving the destination for the let it be that is the default one and you see we we need to choose this intellij id community editions and add as open folder okay and we are going to use java application only so let's uh, choose java here okay so don't choose this one otherwise you need to restart your uh, laptop i don't want to do restart now later we can do okay so just put it next and just branch it is the next okay stop let it be so it will be still it may take uh, two three minutes time let's wait for it okay so let's finish it then once you download it right one shortcut will be created in your desktop just double click it and i don't want to import i wanted to just open it okay so you see we can customize this okay so this is showing dark is the default i will make it light okay let it be so now what we need to do uh, we need to go to project and just create a new project okay so if i'll say test project so I will choose Java and uh, let it be Marvel and I will I will choose uh, the JDK version I am using 17 so you can add here the wherever install otherwise it is showing the option you can do like this okay so this then just create it okay so you see I am creating a normal project okay okay if, if you you see and okay if you can run this okay let it be it is indexing actually it is just configuring making setup ready okay so once the setup will be ready then we can click here it will run okay you see if you we'll go for a new project right here we are not finding any of the options for spring boot applications okay generally what we need we need to do we need to come here and we need to use this 
spring initializer okay spring initializer dot io that's status so here we need to create a spring boot applications and we need to add some dependencies as we need we need to create here and we need to generate okay once we'll do that we need to generate that application here we we'll need to select all the required attributes then we need to select it it is generating okay and the same it is downloading to our download folder and what we need to do we need to import here instead of doing so we can we can add a plugin here okay so that plugin no need to go that spring initializer outside here itself we can create the spring boot applications that i wanted to say okay so this is a normal application i created it is not a spring boot application to show you whether our intel j is working or not okay so let's run it okay if we we'll click here it will be run it otherwise right click run as application it will run you see it is running whatever it is default well hello and welcome it is written right hello and welcome then it is printing one to five in a for loop that's all so like this if you wanted to create a spring boot applications so what we need to do we need to add a plugins how to add a plugins you need to go to these settings okay here you see directly you can you can go to here plugins okay and in this plug plugins you will need to go to this marketplace and just type spring okay you will get multiple plugins okay you see so some of the plugins are paid okay we are using community versions versions okay so it depends upon like which IntelliJ you are using it might be very for you okay spring boot assistant or spring assistant spring assistant is not showing now okay We'll take that spring initializer. We'll see whether it is on there. It's showing or not. Spring boot gen. You see the spring initializer. This one we can see. Even though it is showing ultimate, I think we can. Uh, okay, we cannot install that. Spring boot initializer. Mm -hmm. Wait. You see, yeah, you see, start Spring Boot project. If you see that this is the Spring initializer, just install it. Just you need to accept it, okay? Then, okay, you see, here the tool is added, the plugins is added. So, now if you wanted to click, if you wanted to create a Spring Boot application, just click here and uh, just maximize it here you can see it so we need a maven project okay and it's java then use this table one 3.1.5 this is the latest table version don't use snapshot or milestone okay release okay and i will say like application is demo let it be okay it will be and the jar file and java 17 i wanted to just generate it start this project this window it will open okay you see it's just ignore this error nothing it will work it is trying to index okay building the applications okay So as the application is not yet built or indexed, so that's why it's showing some errors. No worries for that. You see, once it will be indexing, right? You can see here the structure is created. If we go to source, main, Java, this is the demo application. This is our Spring Boot application. You see Spring Boot applications. Okay, what is the Spring Boot application? How to run it? Already I created some of the session. You go through it to know the basic Spring Boot. Why you will need Spring Boot, and how to create a Spring Spring Boot demo applications and all. 
you can learn from there okay so let here i will write a, a system dot out dot print ll okay so what do you need to know what do we need to do we need to run it okay the default port it will use 8080 okay and here application dot properties is there we need to change that because 8080 already i am using some other application server server dot port equal to 8083 you can give anything okay so now save it so you need to come here and you just click here it will run that application spring boot application you see it is running the application is started okay so you see god is great it is printing okay the embedded server is tomcat server is using okay that is a different story uh you check my other videos if you wanted to know more so in this video i wanted to cover like how to install this intellij id and in this intellij id how we can run a spring boot applications so you need to add that plugins okay maybe the plugins for you it is different when you are downloading this but you need to add this plugin to run the spring boot applications that's all about this session if you really understood something please like comment my video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it it meaning a lot to me it will be motivate to create more videos on this thank you so much once again bye we'll meet in next videos